7 o'clock, Apple's got a big week ahead of them. They're launching new products, taking on the Department of Justice in court all the same time. Uh, it all goes back to that federal order that Apple must help the FBI unlock an iPhone belonging to one of the San Bernardino shooters. But Apple's CEO says that doing that would violate the security and privacy of all customers. So... How do you feel about that? Well, it's a case that got a lot of people fired up and has for a while now. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Joining us this morning is James Goodnow, legal analyst with Fenmore Craig. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Nice to see you. <laughs> you too. Uh, so I guess first tell us, if you can, what exactly is going to happen tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to have essentially a mini trial. We call it an evidentiary hearing, but Apple's going to call witnesses and the government's going to call witnesses and they're going to duke it out and argue before the judge stating their cases. So this is a federal judge, right? This is a federal magistrate judge, federal correct? Federal magistrate. And how long could something like that go on? Probably expect two to three hours, oh, although okay. because the stakes are so high, it could go longer. But this is going to be the foundation for the bigger court battles that are to come at the appellate level. Uh -huh. Now, so it, will a decision be made right away? Will it take weeks or months or what? Probably at least a few weeks. This judge knows that every single word in her opinion will be scrutinized by the entire world. Oh, yeah. So she's going to think about it. I wouldn't expect anything before two to three weeks. Okay. Does one chance have, or one side rather, have a better chance of, say, I guess, I mean, winning is it probably the appropriate term to say. Does one have a better case than, uh, than the other? Well, in the long term, it's tough to stay. In the short term, we know that this judge already sided with the government. So you would expect that she would probably stick with her opinion. Mm -hmm. But I can guarantee that this will be appealed up likely to the Ninth Circuit and eventually the U.S. Supreme Court. What happens there is anyone's guess. The Ninth Circuit is kind of known as being a little liberal in, in many, many issues. And of course, many of their uh, decisions have been overturned as well, as I understand. But uh, surely this is a Supreme Court issue. This is... Uh, uh, actually, um, uh, the Bill of Rights uh, is at stake here, right? We have a lot at issue. We yeah. have national security at stake. Right. We have the privacy of every single iPhone in the world at stake. Right. And it just so happens that the Supreme Court is short of justice right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see how quickly it gets up there. That's what I was going to say. Then, if it does get to that level, this could essentially be dragged out for quite some time. It could. Typically, a case like this would take years to get to the U.S. Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. But the government saying there are national security reasons to get it up there faster, mm -hmm. so you could see an accelerated timetable. Uh, you know, this is a two-edged sword, isn't it, this, uh, this encryption? I mean, it, it, keeps, uh, it keeps us safe and it keeps terrorists from getting into our stuff, but yet in order to find out what the information is, if you open up the encryption, you're also opening up the terrorists. I can understand both sides of the argument here. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what yeah. it is. It, it's been cast as a privacy versus security issue, which it is, yeah. but I think it's a short-term security versus long-term security issue. Yeah. We need to realize with cyber terror being what it is today, that if we open up these phones, we don't know what could happen. Exactly. And that's a really yeah. scary thought yeah. in the day in which we live today. All right. I'm just going to have to go back to the, uh, to the old way of communicating, like uh, two, <laughs> two oatmeal cans in a string. Exactly. <laughs> From one, wi one window to another. Right. Yeah, okay. Hi, <laughs> Fred, how are you? Let me tell you a secret. James All right. now. Thank How's you so much. Craig? Doing well? Great. Good for you. It's great. We're we appreciate along. your yeah, insight. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for having me. Have a great one. So uh, Apple's coming up with some new products. Huh, Celeste? Uh, 